Hi, y'all. I'm getting ready to put on my makeup. I come outside. You do like what some people do. Is if they, you're in a hurry in the morning. Don't have time to put on their makeup in the house or if they're busy. I'm going to show you the stuff that I have available for and I really do like. And I just bought some of them. And I'll get ready right now. Here is my face primer that I just had bought. It's called Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Matte. See, there it is. It just only takes just a little bit, and it actually does work. Well, that's not what I wanted. We don't take much to put it on. I use my fingers. I know a lot of people use brushes and stuff. Now, I do have really dark under eye area, and I'm going to cover that. Cause I have discovered something that I got in a one of those beauty bags a while back, and I actually do like it. And it works for people who have really, really dark under eye area like I do. Okay, that is on. Okay, the next thing I do is for my under eye. I know some people do the foundation first, then concealer. I do the concealer, then the foundation. Here is what I use for my under eye. It is a little bitty bottle container. It don't take very much. It is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. With hydro collagen vitamin C and K, and it is in the color light. See, I'll show you. It just takes just a little bit. See, about that much. And I dab it on both sides, and I rub it in. I know some people take the beauty brushes and the blenders but I have found it it's easier for me to use my finger I know some of you probably cringe but good lord we've had done fingers before the sponges and the brushes there we go see I told you it just took just a little bit. And this says travel size on it. But I know you can get them into bigger containers. But I've had this. And it's going to last me probably for a little bit longer. The next thing I'm going to do is put on my foundation. I picked this up at Walmart. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the color Porcelain. Even though I do have a little bit of a tan on my face right now, but this actually does cover it well. No, I don't put it on a brush first. I just use the little spatula thing that's in it. And put it everywhere. I'm not crazy about the smell, but what can I do about it if it works? Now, don't use eye primer for my eyeshadow. I've always used foundation. That's what I've always will do. And always will use. Okay. Here is my brush. It is a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Now, I am going to rub it in. I hope y'all are having a good day. Where I live at, it's supposed to get about 90 today, and I hope the humidity is not high because I can't stand it. And I'm telling you, this actually does stay on because I actually dropped some the other day on my bathroom counter. I just figured it would be like any other foundation that would just come easily off. This stuff, I think it's waterproof. 
because it took me a while to get it off. I even had it on my hand. Now, okay, this is what we're going with. And it don't feel heavy, but it is a full coverage foundation. And if you hear the roosters, my neighbors have chickens. And I can't help that. But you just end up dealing with it. Because if you live out in the country, you just deal with what you got. I went to the beach last Friday, uh, the Friday after last, and I got sunburned. If you notice, if I, my forehead's peeling, but. And I also have a bunch of dragonflies that flies around out here. Now, I actually do like dragonflies. I discovered something about dragonflies. They, like what some people used to say as a thing about them, it's not true that they follow snakes. They don't have anything to do with snakes. They are mostly about good luck. This is the foundation I'm going, the uh, blush I'm going to use. I've used it for a while. It's a cream blush. It's called Juice Beauty, the organic solution. And in the color last looks cream blush number 04 blush. I have to add a little bit extra because it's just the color of my skin. See? You can tell I've used it a lot. And if most of you are wondering how old I am, I am 40, and no, I don't look it. And that. And the next thing I am going to work on is my eyes. I got this new eyeshadow palette by Wet n Wild. It's called Rose in the Air, and the number is 758. Let's look at it. See if I can see anything about the colors. No, it don't. But it does, if you want to know how to make a day look and a night look, it's on the back of here. See? And it actually has the numbers, and here is the colors. Let me show you. The top says transition, the bottom says transition. Let me see. I'm just reading. Because I don't do it like it's supposed to say. I just do it with the colors that I actually like. And I do have a blender brush in here. It's by Liz, Elizabeth Mott, and there is no number on it. And it does come with a lot of powder off of it. I'm going to stop it real weird. Then I might go with this. I'm thinking. You know, light purple's not going to show up. I'm going to go with like this maroon looking color.
on the outer part of my eye. Don't freak out, people. It looks like crap right now, but oh, will clean it up. And then I'm going to go in with this little lot of shade. Then I'm going to try this other transition color and see what it is. Then in my crease, I'm going to try this glittery shade. I might have to get my finger black. That tape ginger is going to blow the mirror. Next thing I'm going to do is my eye. I don't remember the name of this because I had bought it. I think it is the NYX brand. It's in the color bay, and the number is 661. And it's just a regular stick one. No, it's starting to well, go over. Now I go on my bottom wash line. On both sides. And I did that. As you see. Then I am going to do Two different types of mascaras. I'm going to show it to you. This one I've actually been liking a whole lot. It's the It Superhero. No, what is it? 
crazy about the other one that they had. I can't even remember the name of it. But I didn't like it. It made my eyelashes too sticky. But I actually am liking this It Superhero. And the next one, you want something that is a little bit cheaper and more towards what you would be looking for your price point. It would be the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. I actually have been liking it pretty decent, as you see. It's a pretty good brand. I like it. And it is cruelty free. Let's go on it and put it on. I must have it and put on it first. And then let it sit. I do my bottom lashes also. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Then, if I'm not crazy about the way it came out, I use the It Superhero. I got this also in one of my little makeup bags. See it? And it is in the color. It says Superhero, but it's just jet black. Is it called super blackness in color? It says the elastic strength volumizing mascara. Let's see, I don't use a setting powder, I use my compact pressed powder. I'm trying to do my eyebrows. I'm using the LA Colors eyeshadow. See what color I got in here that might work. I don't know if I can get one track. You can always use eyeshadow if you don't have a brush. An eye pencil, rather. And if y'all would like to hit subscribe and follow me and hit that little bell on the side to hear or see what new videos I have been doing, you can do so. Please. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is my setting spray. It is the Wet Mold Photo Focus Setting Spray. Then I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clean in, <coughs> excuse me, in the color Creamy Natural Number 120. Yes, I have used it quite a bit of it. Now I'm just going to set it off. And I'm going to use for my lips. I really don't wear that much lipstick. But for this video, I'm going to show you what I have been going to. Use. It is the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the color Toffee Talk 
and the number is 972A. And it, this actually just stay on, but I'm not going, well, I do have a hot water. Let's do it. I turn them on. I'm going to throw it on. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color White Raven number 362219. Now, I actually was surprised when I put it on. I didn't think it'd work, but it gives you like a purpley color. It has a little skull on it. I always use my finger. Okay. It kind of does look like a purple color, but there you go. You see, all of the products that I use normally on a daily basis to put my makeup on. I hope you all like my video. Follow me next time. Enjoy it and like it and share it. And I appreciate you watching me. Thank you.